Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another episode of Jed Finds. In this episode, we're gonna be doing some geocaching. We're gonna be dodging some trees. I'm super duper excited. So let's sit back, relax, and let's find. Well, this definitely isn't the geocache. It's further up. But look what I just found. What are you? It's like an old uh, computer, maybe. Yeah, guys, looks like some kind of old uh, old computer screen and uh, all the stuff in the back. Maybe it's an old TV or something. What the heck? Okay, guys, I definitely climbed up the wrong part of the hill for this geocache, but it's in this trail. And when I find it, I'll throw you guys on. So I said we're about eight feet away. So I'm gonna kind of look around here, see if there's anything that looks weird. I don't think this is it. It's an old can or something. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, I found it. Oh, it's an ammo box. Oh my gosh, yes. Official geocache right there. Woohoo! Okay, guys. I'm gonna try to find somewhere to prop my camera up so I can open it up for you guys. Woohoo, guys! We got our first cache today, guys. We're one for one already. I'm gonna go ahead and open up. It's an ammo box, official geocache. I'll let you guys get the first look. Oh, there's goodies in there. I like goodies. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got the log right here. I'm gonna set that down. We got a pen, woohoo, so we get to log it up. We got some ground cinnamon there, a mini ground cinnamon. How stinking cute. We got a uh, Hot Wheels uh, truck right there. That's pretty cool. And then we got a lifesaver. Guys, a huge thing that I actually learned is to not put food items in a geocache because it can attract bugs and you don't want to get your uh, cache swarmed out. So I am actually going to take this. I'm going to throw this out when I get home. And then just a log. So I'm going to log it up and I'll throw you guys on in a second. Here's the log and it says, welcome, place 12421. And you can see right here, here are some of the people that have logged it. There's the welcome sign right there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to log mine now i think today's old i think it's 10 11 22 and the last person to find this was three months ago so it's been a minute since this one's been found i'm gonna log jed finds and we're gonna be good to go jed finds right there let's keep finding Woohoo, guys i found 95 total geocaches maybe we'll get to 100 today heck was that i felt so weird because i just shot right out of here and there's a whole line of cars right there and they just saw me just jump out of the woods like that and they gave me like the weirdest look ever <laughs> look at the groundhog look at him go look at the stinking old groundhog look at him go Okay, guys, this next cash that we're looking for is called John Adams, um, our second president, actually. A lot of people are saying this is a really, really hard cash to find, but I'm super determined we're going to find it. So let's get it. The geocache is saying that it's in the fence, but I'm not going to hop the fence. So I'm going to go like around here and see if there's an opening. Haha, -ha, there is an opening. Let's go find the geocache. There's a little trail right here. Cool. I was looking here and I was looking there. And I found this. That is definitely not where it's supposed to be if this is the geocache. Um, let me set my phone up and I'll open it and we'll see what's in it. See if it's the geocache. I don't know if this is it. Um, the person who found this last said that they, um, that they found it, but it wasn't where they thought it was supposed to go. So they hit it where they thought it was supposed to go. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, I just dropped it. Yep, that's it. Well, that kind of takes the fun out of it. It was just sitting there out in the open. What the heck? Well, let's see, at least check out what we've got. I don't know where they want me to hide this. I'm probably just gonna hide it underneath a log or something. But here's like the log. So that didn't get ruined. So it's probably a muggle that found this. Uh, muggle, that's a term for people who don't know what geocaching are. Um, we got a little dino dude. Someone in the comments said that they left a dino. Ah! That's kind of cool. 
And someone else said that they left a piece of beach glass. And check this out. It kind of looks like a heart. Cool, cool. Okay, we're going to log it up. And we're going to keep on finding. I guess I got to kind of hide it where I think it should be hidden. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. It was like right there. So I mean, like I've got it here and a lot of people were saying it was a really good hide too. I was excited for the challenge. So I'm just gonna put it right underneath that log right there. And um, I hope that's where it was supposed to be because it was like right there. Regardless of how I found it, I'm really happy that I did find it. I'm gonna log it up. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, please be sure to subscribe and like the video. Yeah, guys, I'm on the other side of the fence that I thought I wasn't allowed to go on because it kind of just looks like, like this is a park right here. So it's just like, this seems like private property, but it was hidden there. So I mean, I guess I'm not gonna say no to a geocache. I guess it wouldn't be a jet finds video if I didn't find something super cool. I found an old brachiopod fossil. Yeah, guys, real quick, these fossils are 550 million years old. Cool find, woo! -hoo! For this next geocache, it took me to the super nice like res residential neighborhood. Um, and the hint is not the rock wall. So I guess we're gonna find out what that means here in a couple seconds. Okay, so they said it's not the rock wall. So we're gonna keep on looking around here. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with this. Uh, we're gonna keep looking around here a little bit and we're gonna find it. So at the edge, it gets a little rocky. I think I'm looking for a fake rock. So when I find that, I'll throw you guys on. So I didn't touch it yet, but it looks like this all has been messed with recently. Ah, uh, that doesn't feel fake. Doesn't feel fake. There's something on the... You found it, no way! <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that, it says, Cash, you found it www.cashadventure.com that is a cool find right there guys oh my gosh what are the odds i guess today's just my lucky day Woohoo! <laughs> all right let's get this bad boy opened up how does it open is this it is this just all the cash is i don't think it opens up like that or like that is it left up no, I think this is just it, guys. Not a bad little find, though. Okay, well, I don't want to break it, so I'm just gonna put it exactly where I found it, right there. Maybe move that rock over a little bit. And yeah, it's right there, but yeah, I guess it won't open. I didn't want to break it or anything either. Heck yeah, guys, I think we got lucky with that one, but I found 97 total geocaches, guys. We're getting really close to 100. Let's keep going. I was supposed to be geocaching, and I found a kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Okay, I guess I'm not making a kitty friend today. Uh, this next cache is called Chem Cache 13. And I think it's right over this, un well, I guess underneath this little highway. So let's go and see if we can find it. Wow. Okay, guys, so we're at a guardrail right now, and it said that, um, it said on my phone that we're about 30 feet away and we're looking for a small plastic container. So let's see if we can find it. My first guess is it's gonna be somewhere nudged away in here or it's gonna be on one of these things. I'm willing to bet you. Either on that side or even, oh, I see something right there. Oh, yep. Okay guys, check that out right there. That is super cool. And I think it's just the log right there. Yep, check that out right there. It's just the log in there. I'm gonna get this all logged up and then we're gonna be good to go. Heck yeah, I'm so happy I found it. Woohoo! hoo this bad boy opened up, I wanna see what it looks like. Oh wow, look at that. This is a geocache. That's so awesome. Look at that, all the logs in there. I can't read that first date what's that say 2019 right there is the first one right there i'm gonna get it logged up and we're gonna be good to go that is so cool guys and it's still dry after all these years and it said i guess someone named team ohio started the back awesome Woo all right that's all nice in there and i want to make sure that the seal is nice and tight because i do not want any weather affecting this and getting it ruined especially uh the snow's coming up guys but i'll still be doing my adventures 
Sweet, let's rehide it now. And there it is. Sweet. That person was looking at me so weird. We're finding our next geocache, and look, we got a big old cross right there. It's funny, I'm actually way behind the casino right now. You can see it right there. But yeah, I've never been down this way before, so I'm kind of excited to see what's over this way. Okay, so it kind of just dead ends right here, and there's a little path. I don't know, I'm gonna go inside of it to see what's up. Oh, there's a mailbox. Are you it? Are you the, oh, look at that. <laughs> Official geocache. Wow, guys, this one's really cool. Look at that. Let's see what's inside of it. No way, there's so much stuff in here. Please do not force it open. If you cannot get it, message me the code and I will credit you. Thanks. Also, there's a little riddle. Huh. Let's see. Oh, wow. What the heck? Look at that. Hold on. Wow. Look at that. So we got to try to guess the riddle to get this open. And then this is probably the information in here. I'm going to bring it all out so I'm not crouched in this little section. Okay, it also looks like we've got some jewels here with uh, different letters on them. So this one's got like a T on it. Uh, this one's got an A and so forth. So there's some, uh, there's some kind of riddle or word we have to unscramble. So here are the instructions on how to open it. It's called a Cypex, Cypex, I don't know. Align all dials with the arrows on the side. Make sure the small line above each letter forms a straight line across. To open, pull the right side of the Cypex when the finish slide back in and scramble the dials. Cool, cool. The infinity stones, as they are called in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, are the six stones each with their own incredible powers. In the MCU, they were created when the Big Bang happened, instilling each stone with a different aspect of the universe. Power, space, time, soul, reality, and mind. The superhero movies show how each good guy and bad guy are trying to get their hands on them. The saga ends with the movie Endgame. Or does it? In this cast, you will have to answer six questions about the Infinity Stones to access the log. You will have to pick the correct Infinity Stone for each question. There is a letter on each stone that will have to be entered on the dial. Hence the Da Vinci Code, Cypex enters the picture. It has six dials from left to right. The first question refers to the first dial in the Cypex. See attached page for opening on how to open. Okay. Okay, so here are the questions. Number one, what stone is hidden inside the Tesseract? Thanos had to kill his daughter Gamera to get what stone? What stone contained the Eye of Agamotto? What stone did Thanos use to hit the pesky Captain Marvel? What stone did Loki use in the Skeptir? What stone was revealed in the Thor Dark World? And I am definitely not a um, Marvel guy or a superhero guy. Luckily, I have the internet. What is the hidden stone inside the Tesseract? And it says the space stone online and space is blue. So the first letter for the combination is gonna be B. Question number two. Thanos had to kill his daughter Gamera for what stone? And it was soul. So the next one, soul, is yellow. Okay, so we've got B, R. What stone is contained in the eye of Ama Agamotto? And it was time. So time is green. We got green right there. What stone did Thanos use to hit the pesky Captain Marvel? The power stone, because that's purple. So we got two more left. What stone did Loki use in the Scepter? The mind stone, and that's orange. So we've got orange right there is E. And then the last one has to be red. What stone was revealed on Thor the Dark World? And it was reality. So I'm gonna go ahead and type these letters in and see what we get. Security is um, coming, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure this out or not. I'm gonna try to record it so it's not weird. I'm just gonna walk over to them and explain to them what I'm doing. Uh, I'll be right back and let you guys know how it goes. Security is right there. Um, they're leaving. She said, 
I told her or immediately, I was just like, yeah, I'm just geocaching, you know, I'm trying to figure this out. And she was like, we just had someone trying to figure this out, but it is getting very dark. Um, I think I'm gonna try to figure this one out tomorrow. Um, I'm having a hard time here. Yeah, guys, I have B-R-T-A-E-B, -E and that was what I found on the internet. And it says, make sure that it's all straight lined. Um, I bumped it a little bit when I was picking up my camera, but it was straight and you're supposed to pull the right side and it's supposed to come undone and it's not. So I'm gonna message the cash owner and see if I'm doing it right or something. And I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow to finish this video. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. I'm gonna pack all this stuff up and um, hopefully the person who owns this cache is gonna be able to message me because I really wanna try to get that opened up. It's definitely all wonky now, but look how stinking cool this thing is. I have to get this thing opened up. So I hope they message me back and I'm able to come back here tomorrow. Okay, so that's all packed up and ready to go. These guys, I'm gonna all pack up, put them away. I'm hoping for a reply back soon so I can finish this video up. Okay, hopefully I get a reply. What is up guys, it is day two of my geocaching adventure. Um, I got the code from the dude who made the cache. Um, hopefully I don't get stopped by security again. I'm on my way behind the casino now and I'm excited to see what the heck's in this thing. It's probably just a log, but I just have to get it open. <laughs> this is like the uh, the bridge to the casino, the bridge to Terabithia. <laughs> but yeah guys, I'll throw you guys on when I get there. Okay guys, let's see how long it takes for security to come after me now. Okay guys, I think I got it. It's B-A-T, B-E-T-A-R-B. -B. Ah! <laughs> I got it, woohoo! Look at it go! All right guys, so here's the log right here and I actually do have a pen on me. So we're gonna get this logged up now. It sucks because you can tell someone's really been pulling at it here and it's actually kind of broken. Um, and it says right on it. Here was the other piece to it. It says right on it. Um, yeah, do not force open. If you can't get it, message them and they'll give you the credit. Um, I was just two letters off. I switched them by accident. So I came back the next day and I'm glad I was able to get it, guys. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest caches I've ever had to deal with. Heck yeah. Okay, guys, so here's the log right here. I hope it doesn't blow away with how stinking windy it is. First to find 2021, so not too long ago. So this is a relatively new cache, guys. But oh my gosh, that was freaking awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and sign Jed Finds right here. Jed Finds. Right there, guys. Got today's date. Woo! -hoo! All right, guys, one more and it's my 100th geocache. Let's find it now. I had to punch the code back into it, but now that it's, I punched it in, I gotta scramble it up because I don't want anyone else getting this out, out that easy. Right there. All right guys, it's all packed up and ready to rehide. And as you get further in, does anyone have an idea what this is right here? I don't know if I can... It's like all concrete. It's like a big concrete bin. I don't know, maybe something for water or something. And then there's another part. Maybe sewage, I don't know. Ah, I'm getting prickled. No security, woohoo! I want to show you guys one thing before I leave the spot. Okay guys, at the casino they have a track where they race horses. And this is one of the big trucks that they use to uh, transport the horses in. That's pretty cool. And the horse track right, is actually like right there above my finger. And I actually just saw him going around a little bit ago. That was pretty cool. Okay guys, so I am at my spot now. And if I find this, this will be my 100th geocache. Guys, that's insane. It's called Mary's First. So let's hope we find it. Okay guys, I guess I'm going in said you might need a walking stick so I'm assuming I gotta be in the woods somewhere all right let me get the app going I'm thinking I found it Ugh. 
Are you it? Oh no, that's just an old bottle. I may have just found an old bottle dump though. I'm not sure how old these bottles are right here. I thought this was a geocache, it's not. Oh well. Okay guys, I think I just found it. The hint is base of a tree covered well. Look right there, I see duct tape. Could this be it? Are you the geocache? I think it is. Oh my gosh, it is not in good shape. All right, let me find somewhere to prop my phone up and I'll open this bad boy up. I couldn't find a way to open it, so I'm just gonna do it like this. Oh yeah, it's all gross in there. And the smell is awful, I'm not messing with that. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that is a stinky geocache. But the logs in there, they don't live here anymore. But oh my gosh, I gotta, oh my gosh, I gotta, <laughs> I got to um, put the lid back on that. That was disgusting. All right, I'm gonna cover it back up. I'll throw you guys on it a little bit. That was gross. Okay guys, even though it was super stinky, I found my 100th geocache, woohoo! Okay guys, and look how close I am to the road. I mean, cars are just zooming right on past me. But that's okay because I found my 100th geocache. Woohoo! I'm still super excited about it. Well, I gotta thank you guys for watching this episode. I really appreciate it, guys. How crazy is that my 100th geocache? <laughs> my mind's exploding. I've been doing geocaching on jet finds for two years now, and I finally freaking found my hundredth one. I don't do it every episode, but I'm glad that I was able to share this something special with you guys. It's freaking awesome. Real quick while I guys got you, I wanted to talk about my new job. So I'm doing metal fabrication in a shop, and I can't say a whole lot about it, but pretty much I'm responsible for making helicopter parts now. So, you know, cleaning toilets to building helicopter parts, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm actually doing a lot better of a job than I thought it was going to be. Like, I don't even have any anxiety at this job. I was so anxiety ridden at my old job, but this is just, it's so, it's not easy. It's just like, it's very self-explanatory. Everything is pretty much spelled out on how for you to do it and everything. But I genuinely really, really like this job, guys. Um, I think today was my third day and you know I'm already kind of getting some hands-on experience I'm working on some presses I'm building some parts I'm really really enjoying this guys so I mean like as the weeks and months go on I'll give you guys little updates on how my new job's going um, I do miss my Tracy family I do miss working there it was one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life but like I said before you know it's it's just my time to grow. It's my time to move on or whatever, and you know, that's okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the updates I have for you guys for the new job. I freaking love it. It's awesome. Um, I'll see you guys in next week's adventure. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We found our hunches geocache. I got a new job. It's going well. You know, life's going really freaking good right now. I hope things are going good for you guys. Um, another quick update. I'm pretty sure we're going to book a venue for our wedding. What the heck, guys? So many good things are happening recently. I'm so freaking excited. Um, as we get more plans and more stuff situated out with the wedding and everything, I'm sure I'm gonna be updating you guys too. So a lot of big life changes here, but I'm still making these episodes for you guys. I'm still getting it killed out. I just gotta thank you guys a million for all the support and everything. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in next week's adventure.